Okay, let's talk about using the less than, greater than, or equal to sign. First of all, hopefully you know how to tell the difference between them, but the less than sign, um, I always think of it as a, a fish trying to eat the bigger piece, and it's pointing towards the bigger piece, so it doesn't matter which one you got, the less than or the greater than sign, you, you got him pointing towards the bigger piece. And then equal to, of course, means the same. So I'm going to compare a negative 3 to positive 5. Well, any positive number is going to be bigger than a negative number, so I'm going to point the fish's mouth that direction. Okay, I have 1 third and 5 eighths. Well, 5 eighths, 4 eighths would be a half, and so I know I have more than a half, and so that means 5 eighths has got to be more than 1 third. Then I have 0 0.13 and 0 0.31. Well, if I compare place value for place value, in the tenths place I have a 1 and a 3 over here. I'm more concerned about the tenths place than I am the hundredths place because it's closer to the decimal, which means it has larger value. So that means that this number over here is bigger, and I'm going to point the fish's mouth that way. I have one, one half, excuse me, and 0 0.5. Well, those are the same thing, and so I would write equal. And then I have negative 7 and negative 8. Well, that one's kind of a toughie, but the bigger one is the one that's closer to 0, and negative 7 is closer to 0 than negative 8, so I'm going to point the fish's mouth that direction. And then I have 1.3 and 3.1. Again, I need to compare place value to place value. The ones place has a 1 in it here. On this one, it's a 3. 3 is bigger than 1, so I'm going to point it this direction. So the big thing to remember is how to point your sign. The mouth, the open mouth, is always pointing towards the bigger number. And um, then comparing place value to place value, or with negative numbers, which one's closer to zero, or with fractions, trying to find things that are equivalent to help you out.